This guy. That'll be him, and I think I can't remember when it switches. Did you say sure. WM? Uh, no. <laughs> What'd you say? I said this guy. <clears throat> Cable access watcher. Right at 11 on my phone. The railroad lines are laid across the immigrants' back. It's the pick, the spade, and the mick for laying track. Seamus is off with the hucksters' map. Tucked away in his vest He's for the gold fields Somewhere in the west and we Well, I wonder if that means the software problem is fixed <clears throat> Well, I'd say we're good to go, man Well, yeah, but do you think that means the software problem is fixed? Hopefully Paris to be going out over the air, so <laughs> Oh, good He's Is that cool? Monkeys. I know, monkeys like your barrel monkey monkeys. And we say oh, oh, oh. Wait, don't those guys only have two arms? <laughs> like this is too I'm small. Monkey, you can't I'm monkey. In it. You're a monkey? Yeah. Okay. Boy. I know, I've seen you climbing around outside the house. <laughs> Did we go to the zoo last night? Summer in St. Gibbons. Do you remember the do you remember the monkey house at the zoo? Do you remember that? Monkey at the zoo? Are we gonna do that again this year, maybe? Go to the science museum instead, maybe? I don't know. What do you think? Three little monkeys? Okay, I'm I'm coming to you guys, okay? Okay. Little monkeys. Yeah, but you gotta show some of that because some of that footage is unreal. Okay, I'll show that for I'll, we'll just say, hey boys, hello, how you doing? Yes, babe. Okay, we're three little monkeys. Now you need to give me a moment to do an intro. Okay, please? We wanted to show you some of this footage, right? Because <laughs> yeah. it's cool. Yeah. Um, good evening, Boise, Idaho, and surrounding area. It's 11 o'clock on July 13th, Sunday night, on Channel 11, your local cable access station. Public access cable station. <laughs> <laughs> And this is footage of some trees blowing around really hard. They look like they could fall on our house, which would be, well, not that fun. Well, I guess it's not really live that date, but we are. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what date this was. Two weeks ago, I think. Yeah. That big, um, it was that big thunderstorm, that, that big dry thunderstorm that came through and lit all those fires in California, that many of which are still burning. To the best right. Of my knowledge. Although I haven't checked in a couple of days, so I'm not sure. Are those cool oh, or what? Oh, 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 oh. Come. Thank you for giving me a moment to give an introduction. Come. I can't right now, bud. 58 minutes or so, huh? I suppose I could put up a phone number too. <laughs> a what? Phone well, number. Well, you could. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. <laughs> I don't have to. You don't have to. <laughs> Wouldn't we be elitist? Well, we want to do, you know, storm footage. Yeah, we're just going to sit here and, like, not talk to you. Nope. Just play music and watch trees fly around in the mountains. Yeah. No, 
No, I'm just kidding. You can put the phone number up. <laughs> Not that we're still going to answer it, but... <laughs> Moments of awareness with peace and the dudes, dudes, man. Which is what life is, isn't it? Moments of awareness. It's a series of moments of awareness of the state of being in which we choose to exist at any given place, space, and time. Instead of <laughs> Instead of what? Instead of beingnesses. Yeah. Trying to sound all existential and like philosophical and crap. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that stuff. The like the like the wind through the trees, <laughs> man. <laughs> A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> I forgot I don't have my light on. A little bit. <laughs> Sitting in the dark, okay. man. I'm watching it just in case, but. What? The phone. The phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh. <laughs> trees, look at the trees. Good. Look at the pretty trees. Lots of water. Okay. Yeah, you must stay hydrated in this heat lately. Yes, you must. You must, you must. Otherwise, your muscles will cramp up. That totally sucks. But you know what? I don't buy the whole you have to drink this many cups of water each day either. I think that you need to drink to thirst. I don't buy the idea that when you get thirsty it means you're already dehydrated because that would just not make sense in an evolutionary in evolutionary terms you would get thirsty to signal to your body that it's time to drink right and you would drink and then they say when you're hungry drink water and it's like well no because hunger is a whole different signal where are you going i need to well, I was talking to you, and now you're out there, so I can't talk to you anymore. Please, I may put big cup and bunch of water. You may put as much water in the big cup as well. Sorry about that. I wanted to make sure I could hear you on the television. You said you could. I could hear. Well, I could hear the music on the television when I was checking. I wanted to make sure I could actually hear you though. Whatever, man. <laughs> I don't care. La, 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 la. <laughs> la, 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 keep playing your music, man. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know I'm done talking to people who ain't listening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, man. No, that's all right. I don't even remember what I was talking about, so I guess it wasn't that important. <laughs> that good water, bud? Awesome. Water is good. I don't think we really need to drink all that much of it as, every, as much as they say, but I think it's a good thing to drink when you're thirsty. Probably a good place to start. 
Then if you feel like you need more than that, maybe some juice or Gatorade or whatever else. Oh, no thanks. I don't really want to drink water out of the big cup. I, I like the more out of my other cup. I'll probably ask you if you want to run out and get some water. We got some special footage coming up here. We do? Yeah. Awesome. Well, that was good. <laughs> I'm a good cinematographer. I think you're an awesome cinematographer. So. <laughs> you have your own unique style. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. It's unfortunate that I was um, looking over there. Right. But I think it worked out. Yeah, well, I think, I don't know if you saw this before. Hold on. Um, what I, I, did, I you, did, I think. What I did? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if you got to read it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's fine. I <laughs> need... Whoa! Okay. You can fill it up a little more than that, but I know you can. Two-thirds, two-fifths, you should be fine. <laughs> well, I don't know, that fan's out there. Oh, pretty. Yeah, can you hear music out there? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's nice. Good. I'm just chilling, man. Okay, cool. <laughs> so am I. the water in the big cup? Yes. Need to put the water in the big cup and let it do what it wants to do. <laughs> now I have to ask you though, in the, in the spirit of our recent conversations, what was the attitude and intention here? <laughs> I hope he got there on time. Oh, right, right. Oh, okay, right. That's nice right. driving. He, got there on he time. didn't hit anybody. Right, that's true. So I'm saying nice driving, man. Right, okay, good. You almost creamed a motorcycle in the front end of our car. <laughs> right? Almost, yeah. <laughs> That's right. I wish I'd have gotten how close he was to everybody when he flew past. That was really something. I just happened to turn my head and the camera didn't follow as quickly as my head did. <laughs> and then it was like, oh my goodness, did I just see that? Right. And then I was like, brought the camera around, but... It's funny, yeah, especially having the camera running. Well, yeah, it was just one of those, like, r really? Was that guy that close? <laughs> I know, it was, yeah. it was really close. It was really close. <laughs> Here he waves at us, I think. Oops. I'm not sure if he's waving at us or at someone waving? else. Yeah, he waved back at us. Huh. It's our public service announcement again. <laughs> right. Yeah. You should not drive recklessly, especially on Highway 21, where there's like not very much room for error. Or people with cameras. <laughs> or yeah, because last <laughs> yeah. year, one thing that we saw last year that we didn't have a camera that night, it was one of those nights where we were like, oh, should we take the camera? And we're like, nah. And we didn't. And on the way home, we come across fire trucks and police cars and a long line of silent people standing <laughs> there waiting for them to extract the fatality right yeah they had a the sheet truck. over the body what in the in the one truck wasn't there a sheet over the body they had a sheet over the body yeah and they were just trying to get him out and it was hours and hours we stood there and waited and everybody stood around trying not to just trying to try not to be do? gawkers it's, it's just, huh? <laughs> trying not to be gawkers <laughs> you know but yeah, really you got to sit there and just that's wait. all you can do really is like wonder what's going on but you don't want to be morbid you don't want to be like I mean, because obviously somebody's gone. And right. it's always, that should always be a sad thing. Yeah. I see so much joy people take now in certain types of death. That really makes me sad. Yeah. I don't care who it is or what they did. There should never be joy in it for the human being. Come where? Come. Where? Why? 
You know I can't come yeah. out there until 12 o'clock when the snow. What do you need? You need that one? Yeah. What? Okay, just a second. <laughs> you need some tasty crackers. Tasty you crackers. Think you could reach them on your own. Do you want? Do you want to just run over there and grab some? <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> Oh, I can put up the phone number again, I guess. <laughs> okay, babe. I'll come. I'll come help you find the tasty crackers. Just a second. <laughs> tasty crackers. <laughs> That's a new song. Oh, hey. Uh, hello, how you doing? Hi, how you guys doing? Today? Good, <laughs> good. <laughs> just good, huh? Just uh, yeah, hanging out, playing in the studio again. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. It's a nice thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You like our public service announcement? Yeah, boy, that you know that's scary. <laughs> now, now you guys could probably get his license number. Oh, it was right there on TV <laughs> for yeah. everyone to see. <laughs> yeah, you know because they they don't have to drive like a maniac for Pete's sake. No, and I just, I actually just got a speeding ticket on that road, too. You did? <laughs> yeah, I hadn't, I hadn't got a speeding. Where are you going? I hadn't got a speeding ticket since I was a teenager. <laughs> it's oh. like 20 years, man. <laughs> oh, for <please say. laughs> I was like, oh, well, accidental. It, on, and the, there's a part where it turns to 45 miles an hour. Yeah. Right after the t pit top. And, oh. uh, and I accidentally, I hit my uh, cruise, really? and my cruise was set at like 55. Yeah. So it shot up really fast, and I got 59 and a 45. Oh, Oh. And that's a speed is right when they were doing all that beware of the deer thing too. And oh yeah. Total, <laughs> totally in the right. The, I was like, oh, you can't. I can't believe I did that. You know. And well, now did you it, explain that to the cops? Oh yeah, they don't care. It was. <laughs> it was I know. I was blatantly speeding, and it was they got me. <laughs> so yes, well, they paid my fee, and you know, you know, it sucked. But <laughs> that's <laughs> it was like, too bad. Now, I, but now I crew. I hit set the cruise, and I ride my brake on the way down, so I don't speed. But. Mm -hmm. People behind me hate me because they're like, they want to fly by. Well, and sure. A lot of them don't realize it doesn't turn 55 right away. You have to mm -hmm. get past the park. and. Mm -hmm. Next time we'll get him when he's pulled over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Right. Exactly. Yep. So. Well, well, I was listening to you, um, Pete, about, about you said it was really sad when somebody died and nobody should have joy in it. Last year? No, just a minute, few minutes ago. Yeah. What? It just a couple minutes ago. Remember what you said about yeah. Well, but. well, the other day, um, um, a really nice man here had passed away in my complex, you know. Mhm. Mm and he had been really ill, and um, he was he was on the kidney machine and all that stuff and diabetic, and he's probably about 88 years old. Had an awful lot of health problems, you know. Mhm. Mm and so he had he had gone to the hospital the other day because he wasn't feeling well. And he was on a lot of in a lot of pain. They gave him some medicine, and the nurse told him, "Okay, now you stay right there." And she went out of the room to get his chart. So in the meantime, um, one of the other nurses told told him um, that he just fell. So they came, and he had broken his leg, which wasn't good. So now then he had some more pain, right? And anyway, he ended up passing away. Yeah. Yeah. But but the thing is, um, his his girlfriend said, you know, he had been sick for so long. She really loved him, you know, and said that it was just his time to go. That he's at, he's at peace now. And he actually did get joy in that because he wasn't in any more pain, and now he's in heaven. You know. So, yeah. So there's kind of a difference with that. You know. Yeah. I mean, it's always sad, but but in that case, you know, she, she felt joy. Yeah, it's only sad for the people who are left behind. Yeah, I yeah. know. That's and then and then when I went to church today, mm -hmm. we were talking about heaven and everything, and and what what everybody thought it would be. And um, it was just really peaceful that everybody said that there wouldn't be any ocean. Uh, it would just be straight land, and that everybody would be together. Okay. Yeah. Kind of thing, and not separated. Just be one, one place. And and it just sounded really peaceful. 
Sounds like a lot like much like this world could be. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. It could be that way. Yeah. <laughs> With the ocean and everything. Huh? No ocean, no anything. It's just and that that um um there wouldn't be any sickness, there wouldn't be any sadness. And mm -hmm. you just get peace everywhere. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. That would be nice. We're hoping yeah. it will be that way before our time is over. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. And if not, well, it's, it's a goal worth keeping right. in your lifetime, right? That's right. it. That's, that's <laughs> it. Well, well, I think after you, after you pass on, kind of, it's, it's just an extension of life. And it's right. so much better. Absolutely. You know? Right. And, um, you know, I mean, it just continues. Just like a tree, when it, it loses its leaves in the fall, and the, the winter thing, you know? And then it comes back and gets the leaves again, and it does It never really dies. It just goes on to another part. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of <laughs> like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it always keeps coming around. <laughs> Moving yeah. forward. That's right. Dean. <laughs> What did you say tonight, dude? You said uh, you can't really destroy. You can only rearrange the energy. The energy, yeah. Yeah, rearrange. That's it. Yeah. Super Mario. He's good with those. What are you doing? He loves that stuff, doesn't he? Oh yeah. Super Mario. Yep. And then, then of course, this was him. This was last week. This was last week, jamming. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. He took a little footage in the studio oh, before. Oh, I thought it was now. <laughs> no, right now he's playing with yeah. that gun that he found. That yeah, the little Uzi. The little Uzi that was he's in here. <laughs> oh, who? Yeah, I can't blame him much, you know. We just, uh, I was a Marine, you know. Oh, well, that's, well, yeah, that's right. You just got to teach him proper respect for the what, what it is and what, that's what we were talking about earlier, that we want him to know what the bullets do, what, you know, it's not just the gun, it's, you know. Mm -hmm. A lot yeah, more than that. <laughs> mm -hmm. He expects to point the gun at something and have it, you know, yeah. blow up like it does in his games. And it's like, well, no, there's a projectile involved and there's actual pain. Yeah. And there's actual damage. Yeah. And you need to see yeah, the result yeah, of that yes. so that you understand that these are, yeah. you know, these may be toys. Yeah. And that's fine. These are toys. We understand that they're not going to shoot anything. But a real one, you do not treat with the same... Yes, have respect. Joie yeah. de vivre. Well, and, yeah. <laughs> That's right. You know. <laughs> it may be fun to shoot, but you do it in the proper place at the proper time. Uh, yeah, with the pro <laughs> proper safety precautions, if <laughs> at all possible. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, his hair's getting so long. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? His hair's getting so long, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's so tall. Yeah, isn't it awesome? Oh, he's, yeah. almost, he's, almost, yeah, yeah. he's almost as tall as I am. <laughs> he's getting there. I figure by the time he's like no, six or seven, he'll like be at least you? as tall as me. By the time he's six or seven, he'll be my height. Yeah. <laughs> Begun. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, why not? So anyway, have you guys had lots of calls tonight? Uh, I think this is the first. What? Mine's the first call? Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. For tonight, yeah. Yep. Okay. Well. So our audio's good? <laughs> the audio's good, the picture's good. You guys have it down now. Awesome. It, hey, I'm almost a professional. Now if I can figure out how to get paid for this. <laughs> Hi, Luigi. <laughs> Hi, Luigi. Yeah, I'm Luigi, and he's Mario, and, and Peace is Princess Peach. <laughs> ah! Oh, no, he got that. <laughs> oh, no. Hi. You shot, Luigi. You bad guy? Yeah, I'm a bad guy? I hate really? being the bad it's guy. Exactly. Wait, wait, I gotta do the sound stage. Somebody's gotta music. be a bad guy, right? Right. I could be a good bad guy. Well I'll be one of the bad guys we you were really talking love. Earlier, you know, you could still shoot <laughs> things and blow things up and it doesn't have to be about war or the or the conflict between good and evil, but I guess if you're gonna have that conflict the the distinction to make is between the bad guys and the good guys. <laughs> bad guys are the ones that attack in general. And the good guys are the ones that are defending themselves in general. Because in general, that's the way it works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> here's here's a jam, and I wonder if I got the audio on that. Hold on. Wow, the music is just way more dramatic than the right now. I'm telling you. <laughs> you like how he acts? Ready for me to shoot you, bad guy? 
<laughs> yeah, you just shot me. Oh. so polite. <laughs> Why? Thank you. Well, yes. You did, you did. Well. I am prepared with my, my special <laughs> protective armor. You Thanks can go for ahead. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. Wait. Where? He is pretty polite. I okay. Think. Yes, he is. Okay. Fire! Fire away! Oh! Pew! 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 He's never seen Pew. Wonder Woman, man. Pew. Are you calling me a woman? <laughs> no, I'm calling you wonderful. <laughs> oh, thank you. Pew! 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 But he doesn't know about this. We Wonder love bracelet. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was awesome. Were they silver bracelets or gold bracelets? They were gold. Oh. They were gold, but. They were gold. Don't. Oh, okay. Point blank's not fun. Oh. They said they're going to be building a plane okay, that's that right. looks a lot like Wonder Woman, but it'll be black instead of clear. Right. Because it's what? metallicized plastic or plasticized glass or okay. some cool new technology. Nearly indestructible and really okay, light and easy to fly. Okay, you can fly, all right. I, I don't know. I'll be on the ground. <laughs> yeah. I kind of feel the same way. Yeah, it's better to have her feet on the ground. Yeah, I didn't used to mind rollerblading too much. I've not. I've never mm -hmm. been really big on bike riding since I was about twelve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. I think everybody stops at twelve, unless they're a fanatic. <laughs> you and then, they, and then they ride the bikes all the time. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. So anyway. Well, I, I, I may still be getting my spleen out. What did you do? You may still be doing it? Yeah, because um, I saw the doctor the other day, and he says, uh, although I, I don't necessarily have to have it out now, I am getting older, and it's going to have to come out eventually. Uh -huh. So this Wednesday, I go see my blood doctor and get another blood work, and I'll discuss it with him. And so get it out. If, if I am going to get it out, which I probably will, it would be like the first week of August. You know, be, be, before I get Kelly Kate back. Yeah. But he did say I could have pictures. Oh, yeah. On a digital camera, so I'll get a disc. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, because I want to see everything. I see what it looks like. I want to see my incision. Yeah. You know? They, uh, when I had, uh, I got an abdominal hernia in the, in the Marine Corps. And uh, I got out. I didn't know it was a hernia until I got out. I just had this lump in my stomach, and if I pushed on it, it hurt, you know? Ooh, but well, don't push on it. So, well, yeah, and I, I just finished boot camp and then went to the hospital after. And uh, mm -hmm. the doctor, he was like, oh, well, we think it might be a fatty tumor, but we're not sure until we open you up. And I'm like, they had a sheet covering me up so I couldn't see. Yeah. And uh, I kept like, you know, I was like, let me look, let me look. I want to see, I want to see. And they're like, no, we can't let you look, you know. And he kept. I kept, no, you know, noticing like he saw my face like crunching up and stuff. Yeah. Uh, not right now. And and he goes, uh, he goes, are you are you feeling this? And and I'm like, well, yeah, I just figured it was kind of normal. I thought I was supposed to. Oh, I told him I will put them up. If he does not stop. 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 No, but. And uh, and he was like, oh, you crazy Marines, you know. <laughs> He's like, you're you're not supposed to be feeling that, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was just pressure. I wanted to see. I wanted to see what I looked like inside, you know. But he didn't want me to go into shock, I guess. <laughs> well, it is possible that you could have, but yeah, probably I'm sure, not. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I I might have. I you know, I can't say for sure. And well, that, but you were pretty young then, right? I uh, got No, that was I was 28 when I got out of the boot camp. So. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but I got you. So what happened with your hernia? They fixed it. They fixed it. Yeah, I had to. I, I had to go sit out in California in sac rehab and uh, re rehabilitate until I could get back into training again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. and, and, and how, do you ever have any trouble with it now? Um, there's. I noticed. But. I notice there's um, tugging sometimes, uh, depending on what I'm doing. Okay, um, but nothing. Sure. No pain or anything. No. Well, yeah, that could be, be an enhancement too. Yeah. Oh, I'm good. Good, good. good. <laughs> they have rebuilt me proper, I think. We're, we're, we're not sure. They, I think Stronger, they, better, faster. They put some other parts in there that I'm not absolutely sure of, but. They probably put some chips in there. Well, yeah. I set off some, you know, mechanical devices every oh, yeah. once in a while, and you know, the, the usual chips. stuff. You know, we're used to that. They've had those <laughs> chips going in people for years. Oh, absolutely. New. They probably have. Oh. Yeah. Well, they've been trying to put them in the military, I know, for and, and infants for uh, a couple of years now. They were supposed to be on everybody's driver's licenses in May of this year, but many states resisted, so Bush pushed through a, a, a package 
let's see, he pushed through a piece of legislation on a bill that was for spending on the war in Iraq, which people couldn't turn down because it would put our troops in danger. So the package insists that all states have this in place, the RFID chip on our driver's licenses, which will cost us, of course, because we'll have to buy new licenses, driver's oh, cool. licenses now, or state IDs or whatever it is you carry. Um, by 2009. Yeah, so and next year. And there is no choice about compliance now. So. Is it just uh, is it just by your birthday the next um, re renewal of no, now they've, or? now they've pushed it back. I think to 2010 or 12. I'm not sure which, but they've pushed it back again because too many because some states are, are are taking them to court over it or doing some kind of trying to push back against it a little bit. But I think it's uh, I mean it's inevitable at this point. Which well, now you know what's the chip supposed to be good for? Uh, because it can put all your medical data, all your criminal data, and all your data data on one on one chip, and it's easy to read. And any any um, and any government institution or any institution that's authorized to read it can read it anytime they want to for any reason and know everything about you. It's also going to be necessary for employee ID checks, oh but God. I'm not sure exactly how that's uh, how that's going through at this point. It's like it sounds like a bad movie, you know. That's horrible. I don't well, like it. Yeah, but you know, but I think it's kind of inevitable because I think as the world gets kind of smaller and we get more information, more access to information, we the people have got to maintain accountability. At this point right now, it's critical that we maintain control of who controls the data. Yeah. You see, it's not a bad thing for all that stuff to be in one place if we are in control of our information. But when the government says who can have access to it and what they can use it for, then we're all in trouble. Mm -hmm. That's that's where it becomes the bad movie. Otherwise, it's just Star Trek. You know, everybody's got their data, everybody's got their credits, everybody's got what they need. Like and they don't already. Are things you work for. Like they don't already have a base up there on the moon. Right, <laughs> exactly. Right yeah. there. See. <laughs> <laughs> well, there it go? is. Oh wait. Oh wait. We got too close. Wait. Knock yeah. out the camera quick. Here comes the moon. Yeah. <laughs> That's the moon last week or two weeks ago. Really? Yeah. yeah. From uh, outside the studio here. How me? I missed that. Yeah. Beautiful. I love the moon. Yes, it's very beautiful. Well, well, <laughs> once once I had gone to to this hair place, um, and, and it was the first time I had ever been there to get my hair cut. I had a special coupon or mm. something. And anyway, um, they, they asked me what my name was. They typed it in, and they said, "Do you still live?" And they gave my address. I said. How would you know where I live? <laughs> and she, she said, it's in the computer. And I had never been there before. Wow. Now that scared me. Well, that's kind of creepy. They must have yeah. Googled you. <laughs> well, I don't know, but I mean, I mean, even when you use your debit card or anything at oh, Albertsons yeah. or anything, it's in the computer. Well, and if oh, you yeah. want, if you want your three cents off of gas, you're plugging in your phone number. You yeah. know, and I, you know, I want my three cents off, especially yeah. when it's so but expensive. Right, us, but know. again, but the, but again, the thing is, it's not, it's not a bad thing necessarily to have all that stuff centralized and have access to it in one place and, and be yeah. able to give your doctor all your medical data without having to, you know, gather all your medical records Can from every place. And well, save your life. You know? A lot of, a lot of people. Yeah. But if it's used right, we need to be the ones who say. It's you, you can use it for this and this and this, and you yeah. cannot use it for this. You can't use it to discriminate against us. You can't use it to separate us into groups of people who are worthy and not worthy. You can't yeah. say over a certain age or with certain health conditions or with certain mental conditions, you, okay. can't, you can't have the same access to society and social privileges that other people can. That's mm -hmm. the way we don't want it to That's be used. That's right, and sure enough, that could happen. Well, it could happen, but yeah. we're not going to let it, right? Yeah. We have to be... That's Ever why, vigilant. That's why America was founded with <laughs> the principles of, yeah. you know, you work with the government as long as you can, and then you tell it that's enough. Yeah. When yep. it when it forgets that it works for us. Mm -hmm. We are the government, so we should. You it know. really is a reflection <laughs> of who we are as people. This is true. So, you know, we have to accept that. Whatever it is, it's what we created, so. I know. Yeah. <laughs> this is true, yeah. But then uh. you have to think, Sarah. You have to think. You're good people, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. you, have, you have created kind of the government that's in place now. So you have to, you have to, you have to see. And we're Would coming you know? up and we're creating the government that's coming up. And we're good people. So we have to accept that there must be good in there somewhere, right? Oh, yeah. There is. You know, we just have to find it. We have to foster it, nurture it 
make that be what works and kind of weed out the other stuff, the Oops. stuff that's not working so well. Yeah. You know? Like the overspending and like the, you know. Isn't this cool? This is our, this is our yard getting dug up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> our septic system being... No, this is the uh, test hole. Oh, test hole, yep. That's yeah. right. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> there you are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you guys have been digging. You, you guys, you guys have to dig your own hole. No, 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 no. We have a, we had a, we had a guy come and do that for us. Okay. Yeah, we don't have a backhoe. No, that'd be great. I wish I did. Boy, yeah. oh boy. Well, so well, does all Nowadays, you can rent anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'd want to be operating that thing just yet. <laughs> no. no. If I've never done it, that's just stuff under the ground. I, you know, I wouldn't want to dig something up. I oh, shouldn't. Yeah. You never know. Have have well, that's why they have people come out and check all that for you. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> like Scott says, he says, you know, he says, you know why he's down there in the hole and I'm up here in here in in the tractor. <laughs> and I was like, well, safety. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, he says, well, because I can dig you out. If the sides <laughs> cave in. I can work the tractor to dig you out. If the sides cave in and I'm down in the hole, you can't work this thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think he's right, boy. He's, he's pretty good on those controls. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> Is it all done now? Oh, no, no. No, it's still. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sewage system installation permit, $412. <gasps> Just for the permit. Test hole, $200. <laughs> oh, my God. And watch, they fill it back in. That's what I love is like, there's a $200 hole and they fill it back in. Well, then, 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 you then don't even get, get your money back. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even get to keep the hole. Yeah. yeah. I mean, at least I could have a cool hole in my yard. <laughs> well, really? You can make a pool. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> a real small one. Actually, I, small I, one. Did want him to, I did want him to dig out a little pond along the, uh, like in one of the corners, but that's where we're going to have to put one of the tanks, so we're not going to be able to. Mm -hmm. But I just, I want a little fish pond and a little sand catch so that when, um, so that when, uh, in the spring, I can dig out. I can dig out the sand and make a fill it into his sand pit that he wants. Oh. He has an area that he's designated that he wants to be his play area. Oh, so. that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> fill it out with fill it up with nice washed sand and mm -hmm. let the little fishies have a spot to hang out. And, yeah. Yeah. You know. <laughs> that would be very nice. <laughs> But we'll see if we can find a place for him to do it or if it's just going to be something I'm going to have to dream about until Careful. some other time. Yeah. Well, you never know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anything can happen. We shall our see. Our neighbors, our neighbors come up on the weekends only and only in the summer. Yeah. And they um, came up in there and the, our lady, yes? He wants okay, to climb up the and, uh, uh, camera. And our neighbor lady came over <laughs> and she said, somebody stole our, cul stole our culverts. And I said, oh, no, there's a <laughs> creek right there. We had to put them there so we could get across the creek, put the tank in. <laughs> she was just so glad we're getting a new system. <laughs> yep. They don't have to smell us anymore. Oh. I don't want to smell my neighbors. <laughs> uh, I don't blame them. <laughs> it's a good country smell. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it smells not. like crap, really, but... <laughs> well, maybe that's no. what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we don't want to smell like crap. We want to smell like patchouli and rose and oh, lavender and essential I oils. I do have lots of dog roses up there. I collect rose hips in the fall. Really? Or seeds nice. and all that stuff? <gasps> wow. Yeah. That would yeah. be nice. Yeah, well, you have to wait till after the first frost or they're not sweet. <laughs> but oh. then they make a delicious, lovely pink tea. Do they? Yeah, high, high, high in vitamin C. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> good times, good times. Good times, good times. Yeah. He said that second take is going to be a real challenge because it has to be lower than the first one and it has to be right. not floating. Oh. Right. So it can't be at, like below the water level. Well, which is going to be difficult because you've seen where he has to put it. We'll just move the water table lower. Yeah. On yeah. the planet. We yeah. can do that. He says he. We'll call in some it. favors, man. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. I, he's, he does he a lot of these, actually. Yeah. Well, now how how much longer and will it be done? Mm. Uh, it's hard to say. It depends on weather and timing. Um, well, it doesn't really depend on weather because it really never rains after what the well, beginning true. of June. It's supposed to be nice next week, so hopefully. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, because they got to do a lot of stuff. Like other jobs he has to do and mm -hmm. 
when he can get there and when the tank gets finished because he has to he has to come in and get the whole dug and then he wants to be ready for them when they get there with the tank mm -hmm. he doesn't want to be on the clock for a lot of time that he isn't actually doing anything and then the tank guys are like 125 dollars an hour mm. so he wants everything ready and then set the tank in there and then this the first time the tank got the, the truck got stuck with the tank on it with three monkeys yeah the, the truck with the tank on it got stuck backing across the creek, so then they had, he had to go get his, his big rig. Now I understand why he's always tooling up and down the road so fast, because mm -hmm. um, he's trying to save people 125 bucks an hour. Well, that's when, the, when the truck gets stuck, because <laughs> uh -oh. this happens fairly regularly. Yeah, the tank <laughs> so truck got, got stuck putting the tank in. Oh. What? Then the tank truck gets stuck. Well, that's said, what I'm talking about, yeah. 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 So then he tried to pull it out with his six-wheel Dusenhof. I think it's a Dusenhof. Yeah, and, a big um, old military and, thing. And oh, okay. that, it just could not grip to get it out. He tried to winch it out. It broke the winch. He tried to pull it out with the winch with the, chain the cable tied around the thing, and it pulled that off. So finally, I got it on film. <laughs> I think, yeah. show it next week. Probably, yeah. <laughs> I can't even remember how he finally got it out. They finally, like, had to just... Let's see. Oh, they. Oh, he pulled the backhoe up behind it, which meant jiggling it out from around the side of our house because he had to jiggle it in around the corner of our house without oh hitting the goodness. house. I mean, this guy was incredible behind the controls. Let me tell you, <laughs> I was I was highly impressed with his work. <laughs> he got it in here. He didn't take out any of our. Well, he took out one of our birch trees, but that's okay. It opened up the space for us. But. <laughs> um, but when he was getting, landscaping the there, getting he did done not at the hit same the time. house and he did not hit the he did not hit the trees and he got in there and then he had to get out to push the truck from this side and then pull the truck from the other side with his big rig that he calls babe yeah. and and so they finally got that rocked out of there and then they got the thing filled in again and got it backed in again got the tank in there and got the truck out and then he got the back hole back wriggled in around the corner of the house again still didn't hit anything <laughs> i was man that would be quite impressed <laughs> got the hole filled in <clears throat> i was like wow now the hummingbirds were angry because yeah. his back oh. hole was parked right where their feeder usually is <laughs> oh no <poor> <laughs> they were like what is this gigantic yellow flower that has no nectar <laughs> this sucks <laughs> i'm sure but boy, oh, just, little dude loved that it. Should mm -hmm. He thinks that, and it's parked in the pasture right now. So, he, and he thinks that's the, just the coolest thing he's ever seen. Mm -hmm. The gigantic tractor. That, oh, yeah. that tractor is so awesome. <laughs> 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 he's so funny. Oh yeah, very cute. <laughs> yeah, but we're like, yeah, it's it's cool, but it's gonna have to go home one of these days. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully you guys get it done soon, and it'll be just fine. And then, how how long will it last? Well, that depends on how well we maintain it, which hopefully should it should last a good. Well. Hopefully, while we're alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hopefully, we'll never have to replace it if hopefully we maintain not. it properly and we treat it properly. We shouldn't have to. It, it, the the soil is good the drainage is good mm -hmm. we've got nine feet to the water table so if we don't plug it up with gunk somehow or overload the field with moisture mm -hmm. we should be good for a good long while i guess the one that's in there has been in there for since 66 oh, good. so 42 years yeah. long time. Well, that's and this is high good. technology this this new stuff is like good technology that should last even longer mm -hmm. So well, that would be good then. Yeah, we were going to put in a composting toilet, but we found out that that's just not really a... If for, they say that, that they're not smelly, but apparently people who have them say that that's not <laughs> so they are. Yeah, so... <laughs> well, then you better not have one. <laughs> well... Have a regular one, huh? Well, yeah, it's just that the composting toilet would really save on the septic system because you'd never have, like, really any solids going into it, so there's never anything to make the field fail. Mm -hmm. But since we can't do that, you know, we buy yeah. this septic-safe Scott tissue and mm -hmm. have it pumped out regularly, make sure it doesn't get overloaded. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's good about what you guys are doing, so that, that works out. So. Well, yeah. 
kind of fun, kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> you know, it's kind of, at the same time, it's kind of sad sometimes because it's like, oh, look at my tree. Yep. And our <laughs> and the earth, our, our field, it's gone. Yeah, or that was the place that I almost built a garden last year, kind of. Really? Re- yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, it's gone now, but mm. that's okay. Now I've got lots and lots of big, cool rocks to outline gardens with. <laughs> well, that, oh, yeah. Well, that would be nice. Rocks are great. Yeah. And once the field goes in, it should be mm. well, a place to grow stuff. Now, uh, and now that's your other phone ringing, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I bake yeah. it off so that you can talk to somebody else. Okay. But, okay, you guys have a great night. And be careful. You have a great night. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Have a good night, too. Bye. Bye. Hello. Are you out there? Hi. Uh, no, oh, not right now. Not there? No. Okay, well, I'll call back or not. <laughs> They're going, wait, was that me? What? Oh, We're I like, think why I are got you talking through. about your septic field? Do you think we care? We're like, no. Here, we'll do this. We'll do the, <laughs> the young spaceman cro- walk, walking across Mars. <laughs> what am I fasting? <laughs> uh, sorry, electrical discharge. That was just the FBI scrambling our signal. Right. What? Because we said, um, what did we say earlier? Tasty crackers. Tasty crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Tasty crackers. Which I guess turned out to be these um, white cheddar Cheez-Its from Sunshine. Baked snack crackers. Yup. Hey buddy, thank you so much for being quieter so we could finish our conversation a little bit. Thank you. He can hear me, right? Uh, no. He can't hear me? No, he doesn't Well, tell him thank you, please. Mommy said thank you for for being so patient with us and quiet. Thank you, monkey. Thank you, monkey? Oh, thank you, monkey. Thank you, monkeys. Thank you, monkey. Monkey, monkey. It's like a giant hand. You know what I want to ask him? Huh is if the if when he bought it if all the teeth on the bucket were the same length <laughs> and if they were f- flat around the flat along the top or if they were rounded like they are now he said he had to replace the teeth um one time to me oh, okay one of the days he actually <laughs> had to replace them that's the only thing he was doing huh when he wasn't there well because i was wondering i mean because he was getting down when he was getting down into the granite there he was scraping at it and it was just like man that must really I mean, eats away at that stuff. Teeth, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, because at first he said that too. I was like, oh, he's going to replace the teeth. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. Yep. So they're like detachable or whatever, huh? Yeah. Apparently. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? I don't know. That's Eve. Eve. Good brother's tail. <laughs> people are like, uh, what? Hey, huh? Hey, <laughs> people are like, what? Hey, <laughs> what? What's going on, man? Nothing. There's a cat playing with a dog's tail. <laughs> yep. and there's an inchworm thing. And weird noises. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, be loved. And a phone number. What? What? <laughs> what? What is this? That's just weird. What is this show, man? See how like the, all the other cameras are totally tweaked out. Oops. I know he's been playing with all of them. <laughs> Hi. Hey, how you doing? Uh, hey. Oh. <laughs> Woo! They <laughs> 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 can't fix it from where I'm at. You want me to fix it? No. I can fix it. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> what? No, you don't have to fix it. Why am I not making no noise? Huh? My keyboard. <laughs> Roll. <laughs> he, hey, he's hiding now. You can't see him. It's the killer squirrel! Hey, uh, killer squirrel! No. I think it's the dead squirrel. What? Um. It looked like he got scalped. <laughs> uh, it was one of their tails. I just don't know if it was a daytime one or a nighttime one. Hmm. Maybe black squirrel? That was the can of worms again. 
and it's literally a can of worms. You put red wigglers from Australia in there with your compost, your kitchen compost waste, and some green type waste. Uh, even paper towels will work for that. Plus any kind of like um, foliage that you might use from cut flowers or anything like that. And the worms compost it. They make a worm juice that's delicious for your plants and nutritious, very fertilizing for your plants. And they make very nice warm soil that makes a great earth mulch thing for your garden areas. I don't really garden that much, and it's good because if I did, it would be ruined right now. And we're three <laughs> black squirrels. Yeah. So we'd probably eat all of our little seeds anyway and nuts before we planted them. Ooh, cool. <laughs> that sounds kind of cool. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but um, if I ever have a garden, it will have really great soil. <laughs> <laughs> and if you have a garden, it could have great soil too because the kitchen composter, you can actually use it indoors because it's worm free and fly free and all this stuff because it's all nicely contained. So <laughs> I highly recommend it. I really do. And it's like odor free. When you open it, it just has like this scent of like organic decay, which isn't something you'd like want to eat next to, but it's enclosed and it doesn't smell up your kitchen at all. You can put it in a, just a warm corner somewhere. Right. Yep. Cool, man. Yeah. That's our creep. Before. <laughs> well, it still looks like that from over there. I really need to go through and just kind of trim out some of the trees, but the fish like the shade, so. You know. Yeah. <laughs> 30 feet, 30 feet. Well, yeah, because he's running around barefoot. <laughs> Pretty. Pretty. Jeez, I'm being hooked up by monkeys, man. Oh, yeah? Hooked on monkeys. I'm relaxing. Cool. I'm just like doing some music type stuff here. I know, your music is making me relax. It always has. I love your music. <laughs> I was yeah, so that's how he did it. That's how he did it the first time. I like those so those. We were introduced over dinner by mutual friends. And then we talked all night went for breakfast the next day. It was all very romantic. He gave me the shirt off his back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was Good awesome. That one. He was like, you can keep it. You can use two parrots on it. And then, um, monkey, monkey. And that was because I was wearing a silk shirt, which was very, very hot. Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> so hot. Excuse, huh? Yeah, and he got me out of it. <laughs> and then the next night, he said, "I'm just sitting here jamming on my keyboard. Do you want to come you over? Hang I'm out? Like, sure." Listen? Yeah, so I did, and I went over there and I hung out and listened and... And I turned on my special mind power. Yep. See? Look what it did to me. Ah, I am eating your brain! <laughs> oh! <laughs> what? And I like it. <laughs> yeah. I used to be a bodybuilder, can you tell? Yo, work out? I love those workouts. I worked out in a long time, not beyond yoga. Yeah, I know what but you mean. But I used mean, to be a bodybuilder. Can you tell? Me too. <laughs> me too. Me too. I kind of walk like a man. No, you used to be a aerobics instructor. Competition aerobics. <laughs> in martial arts. Role reversal. It was martial aerobics. It was not martial arts. Aerobics. I know you did martial arts, but that was separate. <laughs> I did some aerobics. I know. Hello. Hello, you're live. <laughs> Boo! Hi! Hello! Hey! Hello. How you doing? Good. Good, how are you? Uh, what would the show you got on here? Moments of Awareness with Peace and the Dudes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Moments of Awareness. Moments of Awareness with, with peace. peace and the Dudes. Oh, okay. And the Dudes! <laughs> He's Dude Junior, I'm Dude, and that's Peace. Hello. <laughs> What you doing tonight? 
Uh, just kicking back. Cruising oh. through the woods with us? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm half awake. So where are you guys driving at? Uh, 21. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, Highway 21. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think, right? Uh, that's actually... Oh, that might be Roby Creek. That's Roby Creek Road, I think. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Yep. Roby Creek Road. So that's here in Idaho, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, okay. I've been up to Cascade and, um, McCall. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I live Beautiful. in, uh, Arizona now. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Are you calling us from Arizona? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm right here. I'm in Garden City. Oh, okay. Oh, and you're getting the show up there? Garden yeah. City is right next to Boise. Oh, duh, yeah. sorry. I'm thinking Garden Valley. I'm <laughs> spacing, sorry. No, that's all right. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. What brings you here, if I, if you don't mind? Oh, it's on vac vacation. Vacation oh. here in Idaho, and you live in Arizona. Awesome. Yeah. That's, that's well, cool. I, I lived here, and then I went to Arizona. Oh, okay. You're from? I live, my, I live in my motor home oh, on the Colorado yeah. River. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Love Colorado, Good fishing too. down there. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Right right outside of uh, Lake Havasu. Yeah. Oh, no kidding. Oh. Cool. Parker, Arizona. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I've heard it's beautiful there. Oh, yeah. And that's actually, that's one of the few states <laughs> I've actually been to. <laughs> Arizona? Yeah. Yeah, it's the one we, we kind of missed it, so I didn't get to see it. It was only 127 on 4th of July last year. Oh, that's all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no that's all. Just playing the river all day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you have to. My gosh. It'd yeah. be boiling water, probably. <laughs> Almost. Not quite. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll let you guys go. All right. Well, call again if you're up and and you and you're here on a Sunday night. Yeah, okay. We're on bye every bye. every Sunday Thanks. from eleven to midnight. Yeah. Thanks for calling. Okay. Bye. Yeah. You have a good one. Ah, uh, cool. Oh, we missed a cool. Lake Havasu is where Vicky from uh, Real Housewives of Orange County spends her vacation time. Took Gina the one time. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. <laughs> yeah. So I've seen some of the people. So maybe I've seen this guy. We know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. He's going, yeah, well, I know where you live, too, so what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching you on TV, man. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, you know what I look like, too. Uh, we have no idea what he looks like. Nope. There's always that advantage on the other end of the phone. If you're not the one sitting here, you can be wearing your pajamas <laughs> with your hair sticking out 14 different ways. Right. Yeah, we got about... Uh, not that you can't look that way here, and half the time I probably do, but... <laughs> <laughs> We're hot. What? So hot. We're hot. Yeah. That's so hot. Totally hot. So hot. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fire. That's a fire? Yeah. No, that's a, what'd you say that is? Like a multi-directional? Uh, VOR, I think. <laughs> it's a VOR. What does that mean? VHS omnidirectional radar or something like that. VHS omnidirectional radar. Cool. Yeah, something I can't remember that I got to relearn for aviation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I can fly airplanes. <laughs> it's a thing that tells you, you where you're going. Fly, you want to fly spacecraft now. Airplanes are so last millennium. Oh, no. God. There, we got the There's new popular over. science has like the new Area 51. They're showing all the cool new stuff. <laughs> I know. No, that's so. popular mechanics. Oh, okay. Popular mechanics. Popular, popular mechanics and popular science are two of our favorite magazines. Yeah, they have lots of cool stuff. And the History Channel. And I also Channel. like birds in balloons. Right. <laughs> I do actually peek at those sometimes. That's a hot fire? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah? Cool. Oh, yeah? Is that licorice? Oh, okay. You're Mario. Oh, we're all monkeys, right? All three of us. You're Mario. Oh, you're Mario, and he and I, Daddy and I are both monkeys right now? Okay. From, like, Indiana Jones Legos game? Is that kind of monkey? With the keys? So throw me a banana. I'll throw you the key. Do we have one? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Do you want to? No, Johnny. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Annie. Oh, you're Andy? I thought you were Mario. Hi, Annie. Okay. Yeah. I'm the kid? Yeah. Hi, Andy. You're Indian. I'm you the kid. You were the kid. What's that? 
They're building our new control tower. <laughs> What's it for? <laughs> we shall control the world. And they can't stop us. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hi, hey, what? You're Man. the Legos kid. <laughs> you Legos. Whoa, I mean, uh, oh, was that going out live? Oh, oh sorry. That's not supposed to go out yet. You're Legos <laughs> kid, and I'm Legos kid. Yeah, okay. We have come for your planet. Come for your planet. <laughs> I give them some good advertising right here. Oh, hey. Clayton. They are building our new control tower. They must be good. Where we will control cheap. our minds. <laughs> One or the other. You Maybe will be hey, dude. happy. <laughs> what? What? Dude. What? What? In Minnesota, on the on the on the on the 35W bridge project. Yeah, the one they're trying they to do really fast. Bidding, they did a new bidding process where instead of deciding on the design beforehand, did you read that? No, I didn't. Instead of deciding deciding on the design beforehand, the government deciding and then taking bids on it, they took a design that bid keys. thing where they had to demonstrate engineering that expertise. No kidding. As well as cost projection and accurate timelines. Oh, cool so that they could get what was really best for the city. They've got a system that should last 100 years. Right, and, I uh, saw that. And real quick, they got it built real quick, or getting it built real quick, or should be anyway, whatever. But it's good. I'm starting oh. to see a lot of this, you know, they're privatizing a lot of stuff. And good. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy. Sweet. <laughs> Are we out? We're out. We're out. Awesome. Good show, good show. Good show. So you're going to keep recording until the end of the thing, right?